What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I have a quick video for you. I'm going to show you how to load your samples into Europa. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. It is fairly simple. It'll take about, you know, two seconds. Um, all you have to do is pick the sound you want to use, and um, let's go to something with sounds in it, like the Spider Demon Drum Kit, and just drag it on, and it will automatically populate where it's supposed to be, the user wave section. Now, in order to use this, we need to select it as a wave. So we're gonna come down to this drop down area. You can either go to user wave and scrape it. You can still kinda hear the identity of it. However, you cannot play the sample regularly like, like I could right here. It's going to turn the wave, this file, into a wave table in which you can create the basis of a sound from. You can increase the envelope. You can do whatever you would like to do. Random. But yes. That is what you're supposed to do. Uh, the second way you can use it here is user wave smooth. And it's just a smoother way to go through the sound. So um, if I was to turn up this envelope on envelope one, I'm just holding down a key on my keyboard. You could hear the difference between that and this. Obviously, the second one is smoother, hence the name. Now, what I can do is reset this device, and I can drag in this sound. And let's use this perk, this conga percussion, as our spectral filter wavetable. So those are the two ways that you load your samples into Europa. The first one as the wavetable, the second one into the spectral filter. Now, of course, you do this in a practical way and make a sound with it of some sort. Um, Let's reset this device and see what we can create. Gonna go down an octave. Gonna drop the sustain. Very little amount of attack. Cool, now we have the basis of an 808. Gonna add a little bit of release. Cool, um, down here we have distortion, just gonna flip that on. Close this. Um, let's go ahead and put a user wave, just a random sound, in as the spectral filter. I mean, into the spectral filter and see what we can get. sound doesn't have much range so I want to go for something else so there we go
So just experiment it and see what you can get with it. Um, you know, this obviously isn't a, a ready to go patch, but it can be with a few tweaks made. So that is how you load in your samples. Simply just drag and drop. And you select it from here or you select it from over here. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.